Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 547 of Fallout 4. The last episode, we were at Green Tech Genetics. Ooh, plasma cartridge. We freed K198. I think I think that was the robot's name. So we freed a synth. Uh, we air quote killed a courser. We just we just we just spoke things, and he turned off. It was pretty great. We're, we're that big of a turn off that we just turned him off. It was it was pretty good. So I I could have killed him, but I don't know if turning him off is the better. Or Worst decision, don't know. But then we got the molecular level quest, and it wants me to go to the railroad, and it also sent me this way, which I killed super mutants, rust devils, um, oh, heard a random doge bark. That was weird. Rust devils, a uh, century bot, like all kinds of things came out of the woodworks. And the Brotherhood of Steel was flying over and shooting down at an assaultron. It, it was chaos, absolute Safety chaos. Off. I don't like the look of this place one bit. Why are they all standing out here, though? It's weird. Shut up, dance. But yeah, like I, I, I just, I was met with ridiculously heavy resistance, and it was great, great Let's fun. Keep your eyes. I'm here to sell some on. things. Cleo. Hey, Cleo. I've got a weapon advice. here for every situation: hunting, protection, cold-blooded murder. Hot-blooded Hot murder. murder. Shut up. I've got a few minutes to browse. Murder and mayhem at a discount. You may have to steal some things from dance. So Cleo always has the party starter, has the uh, power armor frame there, which is cool, but I don't have anybody who can carry it or take it. I can move it, and the frame shouldn't go anywhere, but what I'm thinking about doing right now is liquefying the assets that I have between me and Dance and getting something lighter. I don't know if you have anything don't I want. Shy now. Chances are we have whatever you're looking for. You have shipments of aluminum. Let's see what you have. Remember, no returns, exchanges, or death threats. The shipments of aluminum will be great. Do well, look up failed steel, wood, rubber, ceramic, copper. Ah, you have concrete, which is all fine and dandy, but no aluminum, and that sucks. Circuitry would be nice. It's a little bit expensive, but it'd be nice. It's only twenty-five. That kind of sucks. Um. Is that all you've got in here? Like you trunk, you got some ammo, but you know the fusion cores. Most of most of her stuff is just rando. I don't want the destroyer's chest piece. I don't have a particular interest in it. Yep, it's looking like the the majority of stuff is the junk. Dance. A smart soldier is always Dance. prepared. Shut up and tr shut up and trade. <whistles> now take your clothes back, cause I don't want them. Take your uniform and your hood. You can you be Buzz Lightyear. I shoot. I'll buy a few shipments from you. Hit upon <gasps> something, don't bother telling. Uh huh. Sure. Let's take a look. Don't t don't tell her that I just. I just I just uh -huh her. She she didn't hear it. She didn't hear it. So it's, it, we're all good. But I will take. I don't need the adhesive. We'll take the concrete because we've been using them. We've been using it. And then that's that's already four hundred something caps. So before I get too into it, why don't I trade some crap to you first? To see how well we can even this thing out. So a lot of it is armor. Oh, wow, well, I even did that real fast. Now she owes me money. Circuitry is not something I think is strictly necessary, but let's pull it over our way and do some exchange in here, see where we can get it. Because, I mean, I only have so much stuff. I, I killed quite a few enemies on the way here, but I only have so much stuff. I didn't bring that much. Ooh, okay, we're swinging the trade in my favor. She only has 340 monies. Oh, okay, you owe me a few. Now, do you have... Anything in here that I want? Hmm. Aluminum. I'll take your cake pan. I'll take your cake pan. It's pretty sad. I'm going through here and like pulling individual things out. Give me that cake pan. <laughs> yeah, not much else. Eh, typewriters are always good. I'll take a few of those. Telephone, yeah. Okay, so that evens the trade out. And there, I, lo I lost quite a few pounds. Picked up a couple shipments. It was a good call. Now, and before we get to the railroad, and then the guy there has a shipment of aluminum that needed that money, but, well, we have the money. So, there you go. Liquefied my assets, which, that's, that's all I wanted to do. Hey, look, an aluminum can. Shh, don't tell anyone. I, I knew they didn't like that. I knew they didn't like that. It's, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, had to, I had to show how desperate I am for aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna steal like that, I'll slice you or something. He wasn't happy. Hey, do you like wow. trading some equipment? It's wait. If it, did I discover that before? It saved when I had an inventory open. That's a little bit scary. Got some good deals. I, you won't. I wonder. Let's see what you got. 
Remember I feel like I could brick the game doing that. Death Sh -sh 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 trade. So we'll just take the same things over again. So you can give me the cake pan, and then give me your concrete, your circuitry, and your typewriters and telephone. And then I'll give you all the garbage in my inventory, and we should be just about where we were. And this time we won't, uh, <laughs> we won't steal your aluminum from the floor. Your aluminum for you crazy people out there. Aluminum. Oh, God. Aluminum. Ah, aluminum. Who says it? it's aluminum? <laughs> it's aluminum. Anyway. Other, yeah, I want all this crap. Robot chest pieces. And this is just going to even out the trade. Shadowed Eyebot Helmet. I don't know if I've seen that before. Nah, I want my skull bandana back. You can't have my skull bandana, Daisy. Sorry. The skull bandana's mine, even though I had like six of them before. And some wraparound goggles. I think we're right where we were. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then my weapons. Let me just make sure we still got those. Weapons. One, two, three. Everything seems hunky dory. Okay. Alright, well, we won't still hurt their aluminum can. In case you're wondering, the Diamond City radio signal comes in loud and clear here in Good Neighbor. And that Travis, man, he got good. Yeah, that's funny. Peace, brother. That was, that was related to the quest that we did. We made Travis a really good radio personnel. Woo! Personality. That'd be, that'd be the word. I made him a good radio personnel. He's all tough now. He thinks he's a hot shot. <laughs> Too bad I never listened to the radio because it's a bunch of repeating nonsense in this game. And it gets annoying real fast. That it does. That it does. Oh god, please don't take forever to load. The game's I'm gonna jinx it, but the game's been loading things pretty quickly lately. I don't I don't know what the case is what that's about. Whoosh! That was pretty that was pretty fast. There's there's a raider over there who's clearly not happy with my existence. Any hoodles. So Cleaned up my inventory pretty well. Didn't get much aluminum, but you know, it is what it is. Got a couple shipments, so I can't complain there. More concrete to work with. Yeah, I need to figure out who sells shipments of aluminum. I'm sure there are people who do. But I need to find out who those people are. That is very important. So, railroad, you're over here somewhere. You're a birdie bird. This is going to take me to the Old North Church or whatever. Is that what, is that what it's... That's looking like what it's doing. I'm looking at the little compass at the bottom. Could buy a fusion core. Hello, four pounds of returned weight. Ooh. Anything like a loot in here, man. Everybody laughed at me for all my looting problems. No more problems. What do you got? Nothing? Nothing? Oh, shoddy shell. I can always take those. If there's anything else, I could sell this ammo. Like, a lot of the ammo that I don't use. Granted, I don't want to sell ammo. That seems weird to me. But. There's a lot of ammo types that I just straight up never use, or probably won't ever use again. I don't sell them all, but I can sell a majority of them. Do the ghouls spawn back in here again? That'd be interesting. It'd be weird though, because this is the entrance to the, the railroad. No. Where was the door again? Is it this? This one over here. Gotta go down the stairs. The railroad, they're so weird. They hide in the bottom of the basement of a church with a bunch of dead ghouls. Least they can do is clean that shit up. Don't hit me, ghouls! Don't hit me! I don't think they're here. <laughs> Who knows if they can respawn? I don't. And I'm home. I'm home. Okay, now somebody here sell aluminum. That'd be great. Please do. Also, dance this with me. Let's see if he has any interesting things to say. I'd be curious. You gonna say anything, dance? You gonna say anything? Tom wants you for something. Shut up. Tom's crazy. <clears throat> Deacon's record is the best. You can learn a lot from him. Okay. Did your stuff spawn back in here? No. I stole all the stuff they had before. Dance? Can I say anything funny? <laughs> it's so awkward just seeing him stroll around in here. Where it is? Diamond City is under opposition control. So... Glad you're with me. Tom's Tinker Tom. He's the guy who trades things. He's the crazy guy. Tinker Tom's cooking up something. Do you, do you have anything to trade, go or are you going to talk to me time. endlessly? Bye. Dez has given me clearance to set up my atmospheric sensors. Finally, I can prove that the Institute is terraforming the Commonwealth. Eat that, Carrington. Why would the Institute terraform the Commonwealth? It goes back to the Big War. Who set off the first A-bomb? The Institute did. They started the whole war to kill everyone except their own diabolical scientist. But what's that have to do with terraforming? Everything, man. 
You see, humanity didn't kick the bucket like they planned. We're still hanging on. So first step, artificial people come to infiltrate, spy, and salvage the metric tons of gizmos they need. And once they get all the parts they need, whammo! The big atmospheric converter inside Blake Tower starts spewing poison into the stratosphere to kill every last one of us. Give me details. So my sensor, I call him Mila, needs to be up high, real high. This forced me to put some cameras and, you know, other low-tech surveillance crap on it to watch the Freedom Trail. Chuck that stuff if you need to. Like, you know, who couldn't spoof a conventional camera, right? We need cameras watching the trail? Look, I engineered the trail markers in code phrase myself. So anybody comes looking for us, whammo, spotted a mile away. Sure, the cameras could add a little insurance, but discovering the truth about the Institute's real plan is way more important. I got the perfect spot picked out. Set Mila up and let the juicy data pour in. <laughs> Seems crazy. <laughs> Weather vane well, broken monorail. Well, wastelanders can be a bigger problem than even the Institute. I take that. Oh, it's right. Good. Would it kill them to let me know mission specs before the dead drop? Just okay, one. Excuse me. Can loot? The boys have been loot, working on trade? some new toys. You want to take a look? Me? I'll take a look. Okay. Here's what I got. Yeah, he said whammo two times in that dialogue. That was a little bit weird. Circuitry, lead, screws, and springs. Unfortunately, nothing that I need, so that sucks. Anything in this one? No, I pretty much picked this place clean. So we have to talk to Desdemona over here. This is for I the main quest. I have a report here. It reads more like a comic book. Apparently, one hell of a fight took place at Green Tech Genetics. Yeah, that was me. I took down a courser. That's what the report says. Hard to believe. I'm all for one less courser in the world, but the conventional wisdom is that you run from them rather than engage them. So why did you kill him? I didn't I didn't really kill him. I just I did the deactivation code. The chip looked the chip in his neck looked shiny. I couldn't help it. Do you know anything about decoding a courser chip? You have one of their chips intact? Follow me now. He's decoding pushy. Decoding a courser chip is a very delicate operation. A million things can go wrong. The least of which is losing the data. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. This pathfinding though. Oh, hey, Dad. You need something? Tom, we got a courser chip. Whoa! For real? Oh man, it's been ages! You've hit the jackpot with this. Hand over the chip. Let's see what's on it. I wonder if... Is there is there anything bad from handing... I don't know if I'm going to gate myself by handing over this chip. What can we get off the Courser chip? Those chips have more than just codes on them. Everything from how it's made to what it's made from tells us something about our enemy. One minor detail could mean the difference between life and death for our agents and the synths we're trying to save. Now hand it over and let's get it analyzed. Quit telling me to hand it over. Hold on, I want to check something. Can I check the map? Now, when it comes to... It says get it analyzed. I didn't know, or I don't know. I didn't know if like... Because, you know, it's, it's, it's faction based. I didn't know if maybe they would have you go to the printer in the railroad. I don't know if you could maybe make multiple choices with who you wanted to analyze it, but it looks like it's only the railroad, so. Oh well. I'm not sure I want to do this now. Here you go. All right. Tom, make it happen. All right, little Corsa Chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors a little. W what? Oh man, don't, don't don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right, all right, we're still running. Oh man, they've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be. Come on, baby, show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait, they're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh man, we got lucky. I got you, you institute bastard. I got you. All right, software in. Come on. Show me that sweet bass number. Come on, baby. 
Then we got it. We got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Hey, yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Des. And Agent, I hope that helps you as much as you've helped us. Good work. Okay then. Still surprised no one said anything about dance being here. Where's one way to go now? Oh, I think it's a good of Virgil. Well, damn. That's in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've been there. Let's see here. The luck will return to Virgil. Wow. <laughs> you know, I wonder if a Verdi bird travel could take me there. That'd be an interesting sure sight. Never followed here. It's all our asses if you are. No, no, I'm pay, pay no heed to dance. Hey, you point. What's the matter? Your thoughts? I have to admit, I'm very impressed. You're quite a soldier. I don't know if he'd be like, Why are we in? Why are we in the railroad? Grah! Didn't have anything else. Not a problem. Things are going for now. Not everyone's. At I can't even so. move. Rebuilding takes time. Do you have anything else to say? We have the men and women to do it. <coughs> Up there, assume you're Stop! Being get out of the way. There's Demona. Excuse me, I'm busy. Stop pushing me! Stupid generic agent number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um. I the, hope that you take that armor. The doctor do trades, right? Missions. Hey, Carrington. I still can't believe Des assigned you to our HQ. Well, I did risk my neck to recover your prototype. Be that as it may. Put simply, you shouldn't be here. It isn't a question of competence. It's a simple matter of security. And I'm going to compromise your security... how? Deacon's assurances aside, we don't know you. So your trustworthiness is up for discussion. Brushing that aside, before anyone joins HQ, they've usually spent years in the field. But you, you're dangerously ignorant of our procedures, our protocols. <sighs> Since you're one of us now, might as well try to keep you alive. If you need patching up, see me. You're still a douche. I'll probably have to take you up on that more than I'd like. With you and Glory both, I'm sure I'll be kept gainfully employed. Word to the wise, be prepared to improvise. You may find your operational orders lacking. You're obviously one of the smartest people here. What do you really mean by that? No one doubts Desdemona is uh, inspirational. But let's just say strategy may not be her forte. Is Desdemona really a problem then? Not so much that, as there are perhaps better solutions. When planning a mission, a certain degree of clinical detachment can be invaluable. Provided by someone like you. As the third senior most member of our organization, I do have the honor of participating in the planning of our missions. But my counsel is not always heeded. Focus on the objective. Everything else is just a distraction. Good luck. I just want hey, you to trade with me. I'm very busy. Unless you need my medical expertise, please bother someone else. You're so snooty. I don't like you. Patch me up, Doc. Now go over your symptoms for me, one at a time. No, I thought you'd trade with me. No. No, we're done. All right. You're from one of those balls. Hey, you carry you traded. I suppose you're scared. here for my medical services. Let's see what's wrong with you today. Actually, I need some supplies for the road. Let's see what I hear. Different spare. vendors have different numbers for what uh, what they do. Give me antiseptic, which is useful, but not something that I particularly need. So, no to him. A dangerous place. I don't think the robot person in here. I don't like Pam trades or anything. All processes are busy. Pam. Recalibrating. Yeah, Using Pam doesn't do anything. Set. Um. One more hour till my shift ends. Yeah, I think we're good to go. You really walk the freedom trail. Yes, I've done it multiple times now. <laughs> so they want me to go all the way over to Virgil. Jeez, that's uh. Well, Virgil wanted me to get that in the first place, the, the chip. But jeez, that's quite the trek. I do not know if Verdi birds can go there. Uh, like, I don't know if they can go that way. I don't know if they can go that far. I don't know if they can go in the glowing sea. I've never tested it. I'd be very curious to see if they'll if they'll do that without an issue, without a hitch. Nah, yeah, I've already eluded all this stuff here, so I gotta go over here. Very roundabout. Worth it. Okay. 
So, I guess it's time to test the whole Verdi Bird thing. My inventory is pretty good because we just sold the majority of what I had. So I don't feel bad at all about just doing it now. I guess I'll pop a save before I throw down that Verdi Bird signal grenade. We have seen what happens sometimes where it just does not work. <laughs> I don't want to waste a Verdi Bird signal grenade. I feel really bad about that. Please, for the love of God, take me all the way over to Virgil. Oh, God, that would save me so much time. It'd be fun to be at the Glowing Sea again. It was really cool killing all those rad scorpions and death claws like they were nothing. I mean, they were just, they were there everywhere. But, yeah, the, the, the time spent walking through it. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Man, I was loading things so quickly earlier. Then I jinxed it. Nah, it's because we're in the city. Game does not like it when you are in the city. Game, please. This is where you go to the bathroom and you go get your popcorn. You just, you just let the video play, and when you get back, uh, the game will have decided to load, even though it's on an incredibly fast drive. Because Fallout. Ah, I say it all the time, but I think it's because we play the game for so long. We've made so many changes in the world that it's loading a lot of that stuff. Which, you know, if the game was half half as smart as it should have been, it shouldn't load every area in the outside world. It should only load the, load the areas close by, and it'll be much quicker, but nah, it's a Bethesda game, so we, we just we accept this. <laughs> we accept this, and we move past it. Come on! It did it! Yes! Alright. Where, oh where, are we throwing down this Verdi Bird signal grenade? Mmm... I don't really know if I throw it here if it's gonna have a spot to land. I worry about it. I mean, I've given it better areas to land in the past before, but I think that might have been because I was so close to the the Brotherhood, the, the airport. I'll pop a save right here before I throw it. Open the signal grenade. Please work. Unable to land the requested location. So yeah, let me just throw away every other grenade that I have then. I can't stand that mechanic. I, I, I do not think that it should consume the grenade, or I should think I think it should tell you that if you throw the grenade right now, that it's not going to be able to land, or something like that. It's just a waste of a grenade at that point. That's silly. So there's really no great open areas unless I go across. In hell, even if I want to cross that, there's no great areas. Uh, <laughs> there's no great area for them to land. Oh, this sucks. All I want to do is call in a verdi bird. We thought this would be a problem. Please have a hitbox. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Please have a bounding box. Well, if a verdi bird can't land over, land over there, I don't know where a verdi bird can land. Let's try that real fast. See if, see if we can save some time doing that. You can do it, power armor. Yeah! I, I do not want to have to walk across this. Nope. Nope. I would very much love to be able to land on that boat. If I can land on that boat, we'll be safe. If I can't land on that boat, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out of this water. Whoop! Okay, we overshot it, and that's a good thing. It's a very good thing at this time. So this is a pretty decent LZ. Can can the Verdi Bird land? That's a pretty good spot there, Verdi Bird. Yeah! There you go! Okay, let's switch over the grenades so we don't accidentally the wrong one. And now we just give it time. But the moment of truth is going to be if it lets me go to Virgil with that or not. We're in gunshots. And I'm hearing the occasional like shot pop off and there's our birdie bird. Come to me! Do it now! I need to reload this. So it's interesting to see that this weapon's not working as well as I wanted it to, and I might switch back over to the Goss Cannon. I shot that at the Assault Tron earlier, and maybe it's just because it was a robotic enemy, and then I think I did it on the uh, Sentry Bot once. Not that Sentry Bot, but a different one. And it didn't freeze them either way. It, it, like, it did the effect, but it did not freeze them to the point where, like, Strong fell over and was frozen, and other enemies have fallen over and were frozen for extended periods of time. If, if that aspect of it doesn't work, there's no point in keeping it, because that was the only reason I kept it in the first place. We should just go for raw damage. I might be switching back over to the glass cannon. 
Yeah, we were flying in style there, Dance. Alright. Can we please? I don't think this is gonna work. Instruments read all clear. We're green for takeoff. I would love to see what happens once we get in the glowing sea, though. If they'll turn around or not. Oh, there's our Brahmin. Hey, there's nobody. He's a little provisioner. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> this is gonna take a long while. But it's actually time to wrap the episode up here, so it looks like I'll just call it now, and then we'll continue the next one while we're flying. But let's take a look here. What did we do? We were at the railroad, so we talked to Desmond, we talked to Tinker Tom. Tinker Tom gave me a quest, so I have to go to like, some kind of side quest. I'm guessing it's a railroad-specific side quest. Desdemona wanted me to get that thing deciphered, so she was apparently happy about that as well. Virgil's the one who wanted the courser chip thingy in the first place to get it, get me into the Institute, so that's what this is all about. And then it all ties in because Maxon wants me to get, or wants me to tell him how to get into the Institute, like, if I find a way, then he wants me to report back to him, which I'm assuming is going to continue some of Dance's quests, because as it stands i think that's i think it's a side quest the one where i have to, like a score to scribe i don't really need to do that right now but uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna go all the way over the rocky cave we'll go talk to virgil and hopefully get into the institute and i, I mean we, we got we got a lot we got a lot on our plates but thank you guys all for watching and i'll see you next time